AJ, where'd you get hit with that right hook? On my lip. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was it his elbow? That's what it looked like. Um, when I blocked the shot, he came down and hit me with his hand. Yeah. How, uh, feel like how much did it hurt? What did it feel like? Um, just a regular, like, busted whip. That was good. Does that feel like an important moment for you? I mean, he's obviously a well-thought player. He's a huge guy for a guard. Mm -hmm. and he's coming downhill at you for you to sort of answer that challenge and play physical and play through that contact. Did that feel important to you? Um, Yeah. Um, You know, that's what um, Coach Cal wants us, the big guys, to do is just um, make the shot a, um, a difference and, you know, block shots and things like that. He said that... The, reason, the biggest reason Nick has transformed is because he's in great shape. And, and if you're not in great shape, it makes you a coward because you can't, you're not able to run as hard. And he said, you are now getting in better shape. What, do you, what have you done to, to do that? Um, every chance I can, you know, KP grabs me and we do some conditioning and just, you know, just trying to get me in better shape so I can just can play my um, hardest um, the whole game. What do you do what, what sort of with KP? Um, line it up on the line and start running. Do <laughs> you spend any time on that treadmill? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> What's your confidence right now? I mean, having a couple of solid performances back to back. Um, it's just getting better. Just um, you know, just just trying to go out there and just help my team win. How how do you feel now compared to maybe at the beginning last year, in terms of the physical contact that's involved? In, um, I feel a lot better, you know, but that's, that was my main thing over summer, just try to get stronger and just come back and just, you know, um, be an impact in the game. How big is it for you all when guys like Keon and um, Johnny come off the bench and have big games like that? Um, it's very big. They both came in and played great games and, you know, just came, gave us all that energy off the bench. When you see some of the, you know, Ashton and Tyrese and Emmanuel and Nick, there's four guys that are kind of consistently playing really well, knowing need one or two more. How much urgency do guys like you and Keon feel and you know, we gotta we gotta do our part here now. Um, we, a lot of urgency, you know, we just, we try to go out there every game and just try to um do something to impact the game and just help the team win. What what difference can you make, DJ, do you think? Um, this season if you blossom the way everybody wants you to. I don't think that make a big difference, you know, I can go out there and guard and just, you know, just get um, the buckets that's needed and just, you know, just try to help the team win. What's the baseline for you in your mind? Like, if you what, – what, after what are you able to say, I had a good game? Like, what's what's the baseline? Um, just, you know, just going out there competing, getting rebounds, stopping my defender and just, um, you know, just, just um, shots falling, just the post game, everything. People think it's just a stat sheet. It's, I think, 1.2 rebounds and you fouled out that last game. But Tony made a – Barbie made a real big point of talking about your defense mm -hmm. against a guy who scored 30 the game before. I think you only gave up two points against him. Were you able to walk out of that game and feel like I gave something today? Um, yes, definitely. You know, that was the main focus um, they tried to get me was stop number 33 for that game. And, you know, that was just the main focus I was trying to do was just um, limit his shots. When Coach Cal 